Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to tonight's game consisting of the Peabody Lady Tide and uh, the Humboldt Vikings, Humboldt Lady Vikings, that is. And then later on, we will have the uh, Humboldt Vikings up against the uh, boys team at Peabody. Uh, so stick around for that. We hope to see you all uh, come out and support tonight for our seniors as it is senior night here at Peabody High School. We don't have any uh, girls seniors this year, uh, but uh, for the boys, I think we got four. Yeah, Sean Williams, Malik Ganaway, Jason Hunt, Demarcus Key. So come out and recognize them if you wish. If not, stay at home at your own comfort. You know how it is. So here in about six minutes and 30 seconds, we'll get started. Some pregame notes for both of these teams. Humboldt's coming into the year. Uh, well, I don't really know too much about them. My contacts at Max Preps, a.k.a. MaxPreps.com, says not much about them. Uh, coming off a win against Middleton, I do believe, though. And then for the Lady Tide, they look to stay undefeated in district play uh, with the help of Mariah Cliff, Jemiah Carter, most namely, though. A couple of business things. Before we get started, Worthy Road Studios live broadcast for Union University, Free Hardeman, Peabody, Jackson Christian, Trinity Christian, and Sacred Heart High School Sports. The Ball Game Blitz, the best source for West Tennessee sports, all produced by Worthy Road Studios. Like Worthy Road Studios and Ball Game Blitz on Facebook and subscribe to Worthy Road Studios' YouTube channel. So, with all that being said, we will be back here in a couple of minutes. In Dyer, Tennessee, will buy, sell, or trade, and even finance in-house. At J&B Motors, you can even enjoy a lifetime warranty. J&B is a complete dealer with a mechanic shop and a detail shop. Just travel to Dyer, 447 South Main, or visit the website at jnbmotorsllc.com. J&B Motors doesn't care about your credit. They care about you, their customers. J&B Motors, 447 South Main, Dyer. State Farm Agent Amy Greer, 308 South College Street in Trenton, is where the customer's needs always come first. When life storms hit your home or your family, you're able to rest easy when you deal with a 30-year professional, Amy Greer, at State Farm in Trenton. Your North Gibson local agency serving Trenton, Dyer, Rutherford, Bradford, Kenton, and Yorkville. See Amy or Scarlett Davis Smith or Courtney Tyree Williams. Amy Greer, State Farm, Trenton. Anderson Furniture and Floor Covering would like to thank the people of Gibson County for allowing them to serve you for 70 years. During football season, there's never a better place to be than sitting in your recliner watching the game. Come visit Anderson Furniture and Floor Covering, 110 High Street in Trenton, and check out the large collection of furniture and floor coverings. Good luck and roll tide! Bell Shirt and Sign Company has been family owned and operated since 1969 in Trenton. Located next to Peabody High School, we provide high quality, timely and professional service to local schools, communities, churches and businesses. All graphic design, printing, sewing and engraving is done in-house, so we control the quality and service ourselves. With access to the brands you want, we carry a large selection of Peabody shirts, caps, polos and other items to show off your school spirit. If you are needing screen printing, embroidery, signs or engraving done, stop by and see us today and as always, Roll Tide! And we are back here at Peabody High School. As I said, later on tonight, you'll see uh, the uh, boys team, seniors, they'll be, well, think for their four years of dedication to the school. A uh, couple of notable names in that senior class, Jason Hunt and uh, Demarcus Key. They've both produced a lot for uh, Peabody. Jason joins us from Humboldt this year. Uh, there's his old classmates, probably, maybe, I don't know. Uh, he joins us from Humboldt this year. Uh, 
So this is his only year here at Peabody. And let me tell you something. This kid's a blast on and off the court. I, I've never – I've never done edits for a dude who's been like so so much comp like he compliments me on the stuff I do. I've never had that happen. They usually say thank you and stuff, but they never say, "Hey man, you're doing great. You're improving." You know, so I really appreciate that. And for Demarcus Key, I did his Mr. Basketball poster about a week ago, week ago, two weeks ago. He was averaging, he was almost a- averaging a double double. He got about. Eight or nine rebounds per game, and he was getting about uh, 18 points per game as well. Uh, Going back to Jason Hunt, in his first eight games, he scored over 40 points. I think that is – if that's not a school record, I don't know what is. I'll be honest with you. On to the girls' game first, which we have. Jemiah Carter leads the team in scoring, followed by Miracle Johnson, and then she is followed by – Mariah Cliff. Some emergers, though, Anaya Ross and Michaela Skinner. I saw something on Twitter the other day from Coach Michael Hart. He had something to say. Oh, let me get it pulled up for y'all so I'm not misquoting him. But it goes on with what I said on the last broadcast of what he really liked about grit. I remember the first day of my health class that he taught. We were sitting in a classroom in this gym, this very gym, and he was saying uh, stuff about grit and how he really wanted us to have grit all the way through the semester. So um, if I can get this pulled up right here. Uh, Hashtag grit is a skill. I love it. I am fortunate to be able to coach these kids, tough, gritty kids, that is. And it's all in the kids. They they have to want to be coached. And I think this lady, Ty team, I think they want to be coached very well. I think that they want to make a name for themselves. As you've seen in district play, they're hopefully fixing to be 10-0 tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And if you were to ask me about a month, two months ago, if they were going to be undefeated in district play, I would tell you that you're crazy. I would not believe you one bit. I'll be honest with y'all. This team today is way more different than the team I saw against Henry County. The Henry County team that the Lady Tide faced, completely different than this one. They have improved so much, and I'm very proud of them. In about, oh, one minute, 18 seconds, We'll be here with pregame festivities. We'll be coming right at you after this. Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. At Hardy, Martin and Owens, we handle personal injury, divorce and family law, criminal defense, and wills and estates. We are experienced in all courts in West Tennessee. With three locations, Trenton, Milan, and Jackson, we are conveniently located to handle all your legal needs. Not many lawyers will give you their personal cell phone number, but Bradley Owens will. Bradley's cell number is 731-234-2400. Call Bradley today. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. Raspberry Towing, 855-0099. One call and you're hooked. 
Raspberries has served the Gibson County area and surrounding counties for 39 years. Kyle Raspberry is the youngest officer appointed to the Tennessee Towing Association. Kyle is certified in light, medium, and heavy-duty record recovery with the American Towing and Recovery Institute. So call Raspberry Towing at 855-0099. One call and you're hooked. Believe it or not, insurance has become one of the largest parts of most family budgets. How many times have you thought to yourself, man, that seems expensive? At Siler Thornton Agency, we represent several different insurance companies, so we have the flexibility to shop your coverages and find the best value. Siler Thornton Agency has been taking care of insurance needs in Gibson County for over 20 years. We are proud to be a Trenton business, and we love to support the Peabody Golden Tide. Call us today or stop by for a free quote. Siler Thornton Agency, our business is you. Utility Solutions Underground, located in Trenton, takes care of all kinds of projects such as trenching, digging, boring of one inch or smaller bores, and storm or lot cleanup. Owner and operator Tommy Castleman has been serving the Gibson County area for 40 years and has the experience and know-how to get the job done right the first time. Utility Solutions is fully licensed and insured, so give them a call today at 731-420-0593 for a free estimate. No job too big or too small. Utility Solutions Underground, let us dig for you. Roll Tide. Number one, Tomato Patterson. Got Humboldt's starting lineups for tonight. Number five, Tomato Holland. Number 12, Tadia Davis. And number 40, Simone Austin. Assistant coach for the Lady Vikings is Stephanie. Simone Austin, only a senior on the Peabody squad. Here we go with the starting lineups for your Peabody Lady Tide. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but your very own Billy Bowen runs the spotlight for the nice little starting lineups. There's Humboldt squad. Uh, they only have one, two, two seniors on their squad, if Max Preps isn't lying to me. But for the Lady Tide, Cliff, Ross, Johnson, Carter, and Luton, the starting lineup for your Lady Tide. Number one, Tamira Patterson set the tip off from Humboldt, along with Mariah Cliff from Peabody, as Humboldt will win the toss. And we have basketball action here in Trenton, Tennessee. Patterson on the outside. Want to get Homo going here? Wow, this is more. This is most alive girls game I've seen this year. As number thirty for three, no good. Rebound, Cliff gives it to Carter. Carter's fast. She's going to give it out to Ross. Ross going to drive in. Easy two all day, all day. It is Jersey night here at PHS, along with it being senior night. Patterson driving in. She will be sent to the line, fouled by Carter. Carter disagrees with the call. I completely agree with what Carter's saying down there. Number 
Patterson at the line. Looks to be humble to go to this year. She's only a sophomore. Makes first. Her second. Up and swish. Johnson on the outside. Another good go-to for this Lady Tide team as that pass is stolen by number 40, Simone Austin. Both these teams are very young. Obviously, Humboldt the more experienced since they have two seniors as Peabody has none. Miracle Johnson with the tough rebound. Flies down the court, finds Ross in the corner. No good. It'll be white ball, Lady Tide ball that is. Mariah Cliff looking to throw it in. Carter, most, the most likely recipient. Carter thought about shooting a three, does not. Luton looking to score however she can. Gets it to Ross. Ross for three, no, oh, oh almost good. Rebound number 40, Simone Austin. Lady Vikings in the backcourt. Great steal there by Miracle Johnson. Too bad it was tipped into Patterson's hands. Patterson for two. Good. Humboldt leading 42. 549 left here in the first. Lady Todd looking to score. Just looking to put up points. Get off to a fast start. Carter for three. Does not go for it. Loose ball. Gives it to Ross. Ross shots blocked. Ross going to find Luton. Luton to Carter. Carter for three. No good. It'll be Lady Viking balls. The ball travels out of bounds. Last touch by Miracle Johnson. Skinner comes in for Carter. Humboldt finally gets it past half court. One of the aspects I think the Lady Tide really improved in is defense. They call Ross for the foul there. J jumped the ball a little bit too quick. Ross with the foul. Patterson, the most likely recipient of this throw in. Guarded tightly, though. She still finds a way to get it. Patterson. On the inside is the Lady Vikings. That is number 30. Well, I don't have number 30 on my roster. So I can't put the basket in. There we go for the Humboldt Vikings. 6-2 the lead for Humboldt. Lady Vikings have some big bodies out there. Probably going to use that to their advantage. Ball last touched by a Lady Viking defender. The rest will say it'd still be Lady Tide ball. Humboldt's arriving as of the moment. Walking in their nice little gray jumpsuits. Looking like a squad. The Humboldt bench getting into it as well. But nothing will get to Miracle Johnson. Brooks in for the center position for the Lady Tide. Brooks a tough physical player just like her brother Nigel Brooks. Kevin Skinner thought about shooting three, does not. Gives it to Luton. Luton going to give it to Ross. Ross thought about shooting three, does not. Thank goodness there's no shot clock in high school.
Lady Tide been holding the ball here for what seems like ages. Although Luton tries to put one up. However, that is off the mark. Lady Tide off to a slow start here as Carter comes in for Luton and Cliff comes in for Ross. Patterson defended tightly by Carter. Great block there by Travia Brooks, as I'm sure she tried to pass it. But Travia Brooks said, no, 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 not today. Patterson looking to throw it in. Mid-range number 12. No good. Rebound Brooks. That is Jefferson missing the shot. Johnson for three. First three of the night for the Lady Tide. Shrunk to lead to one. There we go. As Cliff steals it, Carter has the ball. She's going to use that speed to her advantage all day, every day, folks. Johnson on the outside. Back to Carter. Carter's going to... Thought about popping another three, does not. Back out to Johnson. Johnson shoot another. No good. Rebound, Humboldt, Lady Vikings. Specifically, Jefferson. Great even there by Lady Todd. <coughs> Excuse me. Skinner's not going to give up on the ball. This, this is what I'm talking about, grit. Grit is the word of the day for Coach Michael Hart every day. I don't think he changes his word of the day. He might change his words today to change or to turn in your assignments, but Grit will stay with his teams forever. Humboldt on the inside, shoots, misses. Rebound Johnson. Johnson gets it to Cliff. Cliff going to drive in, gets her shot sent back to Narnia. Waffer comes in for Johnson. Skinner on the outside. Uh, no good. They'll say foul on. No, they say it will go over the backboard. Be a turnover. Coach Hart is a. Teacher by day, basketball coach by night. Oh, as that's great defense from Michaela Skinner. Skinner with the easy lay-in. He teaches lifetime wellness here at school, at Peabody High School, that is. Number 30 for three. No good. Rebound, number 30. Her shot is off the mark. Still inside, though, is a lady Viking. She will be fouled. Fans disagreeing with that call. Can't quite blame them. Slade Tutting was taught to play very, very, very aggressive. Mucho aggressivo. Her free throw is just short. Her next one, though, is good. We have a tie game here with 130 left in the first. Carter looking to command this offense to victory here tonight to become or to still be undefeated in district play. Oh, Brooks almost had the bucket. Oh, Patterson, she has an open court. Oh, but she is quickly surrounded by three Lady Tide defenders. Ball is stolen by Michaela Skinner. Skinner. <coughs> you have to excuse me, man. Woo. You'll say ball last touched by Lady Viking defender.
Wofford will be called for a travel. Patterson throwing it in. Expect her to see a lot of minutes tonight, folks, for the Lady Vikings. Oh, nice defense there from Cliff. Y'all think Coach Hart emphasizes defense a lot? Because I sure do. That'll be a foul on the Lady Vikings. Luton looking to sub in. Let's see if she's going to sub in for Luton and Rojas, excuse me. Carter and Cliff come out. Skinner out to Ross. Ross to Skinner. Lady tied on the outside. Trying to score any way they can. Finds Wofford. Wofford shot is taken away from her. Lady Vikings looking to add on their lead. Shot missed. All right, at the end of one, we have a closely contested game. Seven to seven after one. We'll be right back after these messages. With extra pandemic unemployment funding coming to an end in Tennessee, you should not hesitate to find a job that pays what you need and treats you well. Because those jobs are going to go as quickly as gasoline in a shortage. Apply today at McLean Power Systems in Trenton. Make your next career move to McLean today by texting POWER to 67664. That's POWER to 67664. McLean Power Systems is an equal opportunity employer. And we are back here at Peabody High School. Have a tightly contested game, 7-7 seven to seven after one. Johnson made a clutch three for the Lady Tide. Unfortunately, uh, wasn't able to get the lead in that quarter. But from the outside looking in, this is going to be a great game, folks. A great game. Lady Tide will start with the ball here in the first, uh, yeah, here in the second quarter. The group for Michael Hart, Ross, Luton, as Skinner shoots a three, no good. Rebound, Luton. Luton finds Johnson. As I was saying, Skinner, Johnson, and Brooks join Luton and Ross. Brooks creating quite the name for herself. Brooks gets the end one. Showing shades of her brother, Nigel Brooks. Nigel Brooks is off at Memphis. Not playing basketball, but he's just off at Memphis. <coughs> Travia's first and only is up and good. Cliff going to sub in for Skinner. Laytai grabbed the lead here by three. 7.25 left. Patterson looking to throw it in. Nice little floater from Patterson is up and good. Oh. Yeah. Turnover against the Lady Todd. Patterson looking to throw it in. Oh. 
Lady Vikings on the inside. Defense lacks. 11 to 10. Humboldt Lady Vikings lead. Just when he thought that the tower can go to a fast start, Humboldt derails it. This Humboldt training rivalry has been going on for quite some time. <coughs> I remember a game my freshman, sophomore year when no fans were allowed in the building. Sad times. Luckily this year, fans are allowed at an unlimited capacity compared to last year. The 2020-2021 season was so bad for every, everybody. A limited seating available. But due to TWSAA guidelines, allowed everybody back in this year as a lay tight on the outside, looking to get something going, trying to get back into this lead. You think about all the preparations that are made going into this season. This new gym court that you see was produced by our one and only Terry Clemens. Well, looks like we have a timeout on our hands, folks. We'll be right back after this. Trenton Light and Water Department provides electric, water, and wastewater services for customers inside the city limits of Trenton, Tennessee. We support all Trenton Special School District endeavors, academic, athletic teams, band, and extracurricular clubs and activities at Trenton Elementary School, Trenton Rosenwald Middle School, and Peabody High School. Our office is temporarily located in downtown Trenton at 110 South College Street in the Steel Building, while a new office and warehouse building is being constructed at our Armory Street location. Please contact our office or visit our website, www.trentonlw.com, for payment options, online, bank draft, ACH, by phone, and our new phone app. Roll Tide and Lady Tide from Trenton Light and Water. We are honored to serve all the citizens of Trenton. And we are back here at Peabody High School. Lady Todd just had a possession, ended in nothing for them. Uh, just about a turnover, I think that's the only thing that came out of it. But nothing positive. Defense lacking here. At least, at least I think so. I don't know. I don't really know anything about basketball. All I do is just play 2K. Brooks, oh, steals the ball. Carter's going to use that speed. Let's see. They, she don't get called for it. Okay, there we go. There we go. I was, I was fixing to get ticked. I might go down there on the floor and tell the refs to do their job. I don't know. But she gets caught on the foul, so I don't have to do any of that. Carter's first. Good. Carter's second is good as well. I got here around uh, 4.30, I would say. I think all Jemiah Carter was doing was getting better. Oh, my gosh. She got her shot sent back. See if they can get the rebound. No, they cannot. It'll be Lady Tide Ball, though. Lady Tide on the outside. Jemiah Carter was waving her arms like a crazy woman. She's on the outside open. Cliff finds Carter on the inside. Cliff. No, I'm sorry, that would Carter, that would be fouled. She'll shoot, she'll shoot two again.
Her first is up and good. Her second off the mark, however. They'll call a foul on Miracle Johnson. A little bit too early there. Jumping the gun just a little bit. Be a throw in for the Lady Vikings. Patterson, probably the most likely recipient on this. No, I lied. Number 25. Thank you, was the recipient. Vikings miss a le easy lay in. Carter and looking direct traffic tries to get to Cliff. Gets it to her, but not without a fight. That'll be a jump ball, possession arrow, Lady Tide. Both these teams looking very disciplined. Humboldt more so than the Lady Tide. As Carter on the outside will pop a three. Whoo! Oh, ah. Don't call that ball out. I'm not too sure it ever went out. I'll be honest with you. Great try there by Carter. Either way. <coughs> Excuse me. Late tight defense coming back here. Luton subs in for Carter. PHS STEM is selling strawberries, half flats and full flats. See a STEM club member if you would like to buy some of those. Also the baseball team is selling ribs and chicken. See a baseball member for that as the Lady Vikings will get a N1. Looking to tie the game up here. Austin with the ball. She gets this, the game's tied. She misses. Rebound Johnson. I just want to point out that if Humboldt does lose by one point, that's the reason why. As Raw shoots a three, no good. If there's anything I learned from 2K, it's that you should take every point you can. That point just might be a missed opportunity here for the Vikings. Number 30 at the line. First, up and good. Chandra Macklin, the head coach for the Vikings. Misses her second, game tied. Lady Tide have to take advantage of the opportunity that they have right here. Skinner gonna look for it all. No good, rebound Luton. Luton on the outside, goes back to Ross. Ross to Skinner. Skinner not been on the mark tonight. Luton though, no good. Rebound number 30. Great defense here by both teams as Miracle Johnson steals it. Ross can't control the ball. Be out of bounds, Lady Viking ball. 16-16, probably the low scoring first half I've ever seen this season. Humboldt in the backcourt, gets passed up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
I don't know if y'all could see that or not, but Miracle Johnson's mom just got up and about screamed if there wasn't a foul. I think that's hilarious. That's that motherly love. Johnson will be at the line looking to make the most of her opportunities. <laughs> I've never fallen on the basketball floor like that. I've never fallen on the basketball floor, thank God. <laughs> Misses her first and only shot. Patterson, found number 25 for three. No good, rebound Skinner. Skinner gives to Johnson. Johnson's gonna drive in. No good, rebound, looks like Luton. Travia Brooks with the ball, gets fouled, sent to the line. Brooks first, up and good. Stewart and Cliff subbing in for, who is that? Ross, I believe. Trevor Brooks makes both of them. 145 left till halftime. Patterson on the outside, gives it to number 40, Austin. Oh, beautiful play there. Misses the layup, though. Coach Michael Hart looking to coach the team to a victory tonight, number 30 for three. Over two people. Luton on the corner for three. No good. <laughs> Ball hits Alicia Stewart in the head. Be Lady Viking ball. Cliff with the easy defense. Stewart gonna go up, misses her layup. Be a foul on the Lady Todd. This is a quite a big turnout we've had tonight. Stands are almost packed, and we haven't even started the boys' game yet. Humboldt, Tennessee, only a stone's throw away from Trenton, Tennessee. Rivalry's been going on for a long time. Humboldt not been in Peabody's district for four years, I believe, when it comes to football, at least. I know basketball is always a fun time. Carter, Cliff come in for Stewart and Luton. Makes for second. 40 seconds left here till halftime. Skinner gonna pop a three. Just short. Humboldt looking to hold on to the sleep, possibly score more here before halftime as there's no shot clock here in high school. Ball through the hands of a Lady Viking player. Will the Lady Ty go for three or will they just simply go for two here? I like the three-point option, but you have nobody out there that consistently can make it. Carter will be hit with the charge or called for a charge. 7.4 seconds left here before half. Coach Harpo can give his team a, a sermonette, per se.
Humboldt just going to hold on to it. All right. Before we go into the break, a few halftime notes for both teams. Humboldt came out firing, especially for the defensive side. They somehow got the lead. More or less, the Lady Titus let the lead get away from them. They couldn't make shots either. And then for the Lady Tide, scoring mainly coming from Carter and Johnson here in the early going. 18-21, Michaela Skinner has kind of been all from three. So with all that being said, we'll see you all after this. J&B 447 South Main in Dyer, Tennessee will buy, sell, or trade, and even finance in-house. At J&B Motors, you can even enjoy a lifetime warranty. J&B is a complete dealer with a mechanic shop and a detail shop. Just travel to Dyer, 447 South Main, or visit the website at jnbmotorsllc.com. J&B Motors doesn't care about your credit. They care about you, their customers. J&B Motors, 447 South Main, Dyer. State Farm Agent Amy Greer, 308 South College Street in Trenton, is where the customer's needs always come first. When life storms hit your home or your family, you're able to rest easy when you deal with a 30-year professional, Amy Greer, at State Farm in Trenton. Your North Gibson local agency serving Trenton, Dyer, Rutherford, Bradford, Kenton, and Yorkville. See Amy or Scarlett Davis Smith or Courtney Tyree Williams. Amy Greer, State Farm, Trenton. Anderson Furniture and Floor Covering would like to thank the people of Gibson County for allowing them to serve you for 70 years. During football season, there's never a better place to be than sitting in your recliner watching the game. Come visit Anderson Furniture and Floor Covering, 110 High Street in Trenton, and check out the large collection of furniture and floor coverings. Good luck and roll tide! Bell Shirt and Sign Company has been family owned and operated since 1969 in Trenton. Located next to Peabody High School, we provide high quality, timely and professional service to local schools, communities, churches and businesses. All graphic design, printing, sewing and engraving is done in house, so we control the quality and service ourselves. With access to the brands you want, we carry a large selection of Peabody shirts, caps, polos and other items to show off your school spirit. If you are needing screen printing, embroidery, signs or engraving done, stop by and see us today and as always, Roll Tide! Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. At Hardy, Martin & Owens, we handle personal injury, divorce and family law, criminal defense, and wills and estates. We are experienced in all courts in West Tennessee. With three locations, Trenton, Milan, and Jackson, we are conveniently located to handle all your legal needs. Not many lawyers will give you their personal cell phone number, but Bradley Owens will. Bradley's cell number is 731-234-2400. Call Bradley today. We are back here at Peabody High School. A little bit of notes before we get started. Uh, back with basketball action. Uh, Lady Tide, obviously, uh, losing by about three points, I believe, if my math is correct. So last broadcast, I started talking about the Gibson County Mass Band's trip to a place called California. California is this great state on the west coast of the United States. Uh, so I didn't get to finish my stories last time. I think I ended at day three. But just to, to summarize, day one was travel. Day two, Santa Monica Pier slash Santa Monica slash Hollywood. 
And then day three was supposed to be Disneyland, but we, we got rained out, so we couldn't perform then. So day four was one of my more favorite days. It was called, it's a place called Bandfest. Bandfest was this huge exhibition for all the bands that are performing in a Rose Parade to do their show. Our show consisted of Space Odyssey 2001. Uh, it's what Elvis walked out onto. Then we did Jailhouse Rock and then Hound Dog by Elvis Presley. Then we had Tennessee Waltz. Uh, and then we had Rocky Top. Rocky Top's the state, talk, the state song for Tennessee. And then last but not least, uh, we played Elvis's. Uh, well, I guess when he exited the stage, his music, whatever he played. And then we ended with America the Beautiful. I'll tell you what, we had a drill move uh, where we were facing backfield to start. You turn around, and I swear, as soon as we hit that first note, people went crazy, whether they were from Gibson County or not. Everybody knew where Gibson County was after we played that first note. The crowd pop was something else. I couldn't believe it. Later on that night, we had <laughs> we had a uh, nice little meal on a cruise ship. It, it was a great five-star meal. I sat up on a top deck pretty much, though. There was a dance floor. Kids got rowdy. You know how it is. The line in Tupac's song, California Love, when he says, the state where you'll never find a dance floor empty, a dance floor empty, that was, that was correct. You ain't never going to find a dance floor empty in California. So that ended our night. And I'll tell you what, if you weren't tired by the time you got back to the hotel any day of the week, something was wrong. You either had a Red Bull before you went to bed or something. Something was wrong with you. So day five was, oh, what was day five? I'm pretty sure day five was Knott's Berry Farm. Yeah, Knott's Berry Farm. Knott's Berry Farm is the biggest attraction amusement park I've ever been to. I think <clears throat> I traveled around with uh, my cousins and some of my boys uh, the whole day, and I think we might have rode like three rides maybe. The Fast Pass was about 114 schmeckles. I wasn't paying for no Fast Pass. But nonetheless, we rode about three rides because all the rides you had like to wait an hour, hour and a half. So we only got to ride three rides. We packed up, went home around 5 to 6 o'clock uh, that night. Got back to the hotel, had a nice little ice cream party. I myself Uber. Uh, ordered some Uber Eats from Panda Express, which is the best thing you could ever do. Uh, shout out to Jose. He was my delivery man. Uh, so uh, after that, you got ready for bed, and then you had the day that everybody had awaited, the Rose Parade day. The reason we arrived to California in the first place was the Rose Parade. Well, so we woke up. About 3 a.m. and or I woke up about 3 a.m. I got ready, did, did my little pregame ritual, which consisted of watching TikToks for 30 minutes and taking a shower. Then after that, I got dressed, got ready, went down, had breakfast, and then uh, it was about time for us to go. So every day you would have to load your uh, stuff onto the trailer. Except for Knott's Berry Farm Day, because we didn't perform there. But you had to load your stuff onto the trailer. And uh, you just went to the Rose Parade. I'll continue with that story afterwards. But in T minus 51 seconds, we will have basketball action. So focusing over on that, you'll have uh, Patterson seeing probably the most minutes of any girl on the court tonight. <coughs> Excuse me. She seems like Humboldt's number one go-to. She is only a sophomore. She's very young but very talented. Moving on to the Lady Tide team, I imagine he'll be sticking with the Cliff Carter uh, combination. 
look for look for Brooks to sub in though. Johnson's been there tonight for the Lady Tide, as she is every other game. The boys at Peabody are making shots right now. Uh, so we are well supposed to be having. We're live. We sorry. Something happened. I have no clue what. I don't know when we turned off. I'll be honest with y'all, but we are very sorry for what happened. As the Lady Vikings in the back court, I'm sorry, front court, looking to increase their lead. Humboldt has a lady wide open in the corner. Gets it inside. Humboldt calling for the foul. There'll be a foul on Miracle Johnson. Miracle Johnson pleading jump ball there. No luck though. Now, I'm not a real big rule fanatic, but why is that not a backcourt? As Humboldt on the inside misses their layup, gives Peabody a chance. Coach Hart might talk something in his team at halftime. Gave him a nice little sermonette. Cliff, though, with the tough defense, tries to get it to Luton. That'll be a hold on Patterson, I do believe. Number 30, arguing with the refs here. Oh, wow. They're not going to call that? Wow. Okay, cool, whatever. Patterson will look to inbound it. Ah, oh, there we go. Foul on Humboldt, but it'll still be Humboldt ball. <coughs> Excuse me. Foul by Mariah Cliff, though, as well. Patterson, guarded by Carter, tightly. Friends starting to get a little bit rowdy here at PHS. I love it. Isn't this great? Patterson looking to throw it in. Lady well, Tides, be careful here not to get the bonus here in the early going. Humboldt in the corner. Shot, no good. Rebound, Carter. Looting with the ball. Going to use her speed to her advantage. Gives it Carter, Carter to Ross. Bad pass from Carter, try to get into Brooks. Pass stolen by Lady Viking. Patterson's layup no good. Merkel Johnson with the ball. This is a four on three fast break. Merkel Johnson will go to the line. 
shoot two. Luton gives it to Ross. Ross for three. No good. As Humboldt in the backcourt, be called for a travel. Interesting, interesting ball playing going on over here. Luton. Just it to Carter. Carter for three. Too long. Rebound by Humboldt. Humboldt in the backcourt. It's a two-on-one fast break. Brooks defending. They'll get probably Luton for the foul. Skinner looking to sub in here for the Lady Tide. No scoring's been going on yet for either team. Makes her first. Skinner subs in for Ross. Number 25. Tiara Panky subs in for number 30. They'll say something, it'll be Lady Tide Ball. Skinner <coughs> finds Johnson. <coughs> Johnson into Brooks. Brooks going to be fouled, sent to the line. Number 12, Jefferson disagrees with that call. Trevor Brooks makes her first. Her second is up and good as well. This will be a low scoring affair between both of these teams. Great defense there by Luton, strips the ball away. Skinner, gonna go up, layup no good. Cliff with a good D. Oh, what's this call gonna be? They'll, they'll say a push on Humboldt. Patterson comes back in. Johnson gives it to Luton. Luton gives it to, tries to get Skinner, pass stolen. Patterson. Put, pretty much pushes Luton out the way. No foul, though. It'll be Viking ball. Lady Viking ball, my bad. Skinner Garden. That'll be a foul on Humboldt. Humboldt with five fouls in the third quarter. Lady tie with four. Skinner going to throw it in. Luton with the ball.
Patterson with the ball. That'll be a 10 second violation. That's the first one I've seen this year. We have a timeout. I think during that timeout, I'm going to tell y'all about the Rose Parade. So we leave the hotel. We uh, get to Rose Parade. We sit there for about 30 minutes to an hour before the parade starts. And I tell you what, we had a, uh, a jet of some type uh, go over us that signaling that the parade was going to start. And, man, it was loud. It was loud. Uh, so after that, uh, after that 30 minutes to an hour, they took us to what they called – well, I don't know what they called it. The shoot. They called it. They called it the shoot, where all the bands get ready to perform. Nick Cannon was in front of us on the mass singer float. So, next break I have, I will tell you all more. Lady Todd need to wake up. Skinner for three. No good. Ball will travel out of bounds. The Lady Viking ball. Skinner. That shot was too long for the Lady Vikings, though. So Johnson. Finds Cliff. Cliff going to put one up. No good. Rebound number 45 from Humboldt. Is that not a foul? She was elbowing. I'm not too sure. Oh, well. Be Lady Viking ball. Carter comes in for Luton. Ball stolen by Miracle Johnson. Miracle Johnson on the outside finds Cliff. Cliff tries to get to Brooks. Will not be a jump ball, possession arrow. Lady Todd. Sacred Heart taking on USJ tonight. Them two schools are just are not they're not really even a mile from each other. I could I could literally stand over at Sacred Heart School and say something to USJ school and USJ would hear me. That's how close they are. Carter for three though. Ooh. All right, Lady Tide in the lead. Let's see if they can keep it up. Still got one more quarter of action to play here, though. Oh, bad pass there. It would be Lady Tide ball. Things starting to heat up here for the Lady Tide. See if they can make a run out of it. Carter. Johnson. Johnson to Skinner. Skinner, thought about shooting three, does not. Johnson, out to Skinner. Skinner for three. No good. It'd be Lady Viking ball. Good effort, though. Despite who wins tonight, I just know that these teams have shown a lot of effort. Somebody's going to walk out of here losers. And neither of these teams should hold their heads low. Johnson with the stick D. Oh, is that? that what is that? <laughs> They'll call Miracle Johnson for the foul. Man, 
This is great. I love it. Oh, man. Is this not great? Oh, I miss it so much. <laughs> Humble looking to throw it in. Referee having a conversation with the scores table. Johnson caught on for the foul. Atta girl, Johnson. Oh, she steals the ball. Finds, oh, passed on by Patterson. Great block there by Travia. Patterson with the ball. Will be fouled. Oh, Patterson's hurt. She's hurt. That's not good. What? What? We'll be right back after this. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford and Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. Patterson got back up, thankfully. She wasn't moving there for the first couple of seconds. I was getting worried. But she got back up on her own powers, able to walk up off the court. Hopefully, just a minor injury. Heck of a ball player. This game has me absolutely flabbergasted, folks. I cannot believe that Humboldt is in a game with the Lady Tide. After the Lady Tide have been performing so well, they have Humboldt trailing by just one. Her first. Up and no good. Her second up and no good as well. Rebound Brooks. Gets it to Luton. Luton finds Skinner. Skinner to Carter. Carter for three. No good. Rebound Luton. Gives to Ross. Ross to Carter. Carter to Skinner. Skinner finds Luton. Luton going to be fouled with the and one. Jersey Knight here at PHS. Wofford subs in for Brooks. Her first and only free throw misses. Luton defending against number 30. Wofford will be called for the foul. She'll send number 30 to the line. Lady Ty with eight fouls here in the third. Humboldt with six. Our first is up and no good. Cliff comes in for Carter. Her second, however, is good. Skinner. 
ball gets stolen. Patterson with the ball. She's back in the game. As that is great defense there by Luton. Referees are allowing this game to be physical tonight. I can only hope the same for the boys game. Kyle and Keaton Johnson, two of the namely starters for the Humboldt Vikings. That'll be a travel on Patterson. Luton finds Skinner. Skinner going to shoot another three. No good. Rebound Lady Vikings. Three point game here. Let's see if I'm going to try to tie it up. Hard screen. Number 30. Shot is off the mark. Be a turnover. Carter subbing in for Cliff. Brooks coming in for Wofford. Carter with the ball. Four, three, two, one, zero. Will they get a shot off? No, they won't. Carter puts up a three. No good. All right, at the end of three, 25, 23. Lady Tide lead. We'll be right back after this. Raspberry Towing, 855-0099. One call and you're hooked. Raspberries has served the Gibson County area and surrounding counties for 39 years. Kyle Raspberry is the youngest officer appointed to the Tennessee Towing Association. Kyle is certified in light, medium, and heavy duty wrecker recovery with the American Towing and Recovery Institute. So call Raspberry Towing at 855-0099. One call and you're hooked. And we are back here at Peabody High School. Coach Hart giving his team a sermonette, getting through this final quarter of action. Lady Todd helping to stay undefeated in district play tonight. The come up from the Tennessee Volunteers will likely be out for the year with an ankle injury. Ross tries to steal the ball as Patterson with the ball. Going to drive in. Tries to get it to Austin. Sets on by Luton. Luton has her shot sent to Narnia. Carter looking for somebody, anybody, finds Brooks. Brooks finds Ross, Ross finds Cliff. Carter's waving her arms like a crazy woman on the outside. Ross gonna shoot a three. No good rebound, Brooks. Brooks goes up and lays it in. Two possession game here, folks. Patterson humble to go to. Doesn't even look a little bit shaken up after she fell on the ground earlier. Inside. Good defense there by Cliff. Rebounded by Cliff as well. Ross going to drive in. Back out to Carter. Carter for three. Hoo! This game is what the young guns would call lit. Five, 
foul on Anaya Ross for the Lady Tide. That'll send Patterson to the line. Our first free throw opportunity is up and in. Her second, however, misses. It'll be Lady Todd Ball. Foul on number 12, Jefferson. Lady Todd had a bonus. Her first is up and good. Second is up and good as well. Cliff and Skinner come in for Ross and Carter. Patterson gets it to Austin. Brooks to Cliff. Cliff into Skinner. Skinner going to go up for a layup. No good. Rebound. Skinner. Luton going to drive in. Gets, oh, should be called for the charge. Man. If you want a drama, you have it. I miss pack games like these. Good defense serve by Luton. Forces the ball out of bounds. Lady Vikings. Looking to inbound, it gets it to number 30. Patterson, taking it up for the Vikings. That's number 30. Number 30 going to shoot a three. Short. We have a timeout. We'll be right back after this. Believe it or not, insurance has become one of the largest parts of most family budgets. How many times have you thought to yourself, man, that seems expensive? At Siler Thornton Agency, we represent several different insurance companies, so we have the flexibility to shop your coverages and find the best value. Siler Thornton Agency has been taking care of insurance needs in Gibson County for over 20 years. We are proud to be a Trenton business, and we love to support the Peabody Golden Tide. Call us today or stop by for a free quote. Siler Thornton Agency, our business is you. We are back here at Peabody High School. Coach Hart hopefully giving his final sermonette as the Lady Tide have an eight point lead. Miss Katie Burketta uh, sang the national anthem tonight for the pregame festivities. She's a reading teacher, reading language, reading language arts teacher here at PHS. She teaches the freshman class I feel sorry for her every day. I would hate to teach freshmen. 
Skinner. No clue where that pass was going. Thanks you try it in Humboldt cheerleader. Patterson looking to throw it in. Patterson with the ball. Defended by Luton. She's going to drive in. Passes back out. Carter defending. She'll be, she'll draw the foul. Be a charge. Lady Todd Ball. Almost here later, stomping on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Scared me. They they going hard over there. Brooks for two, no good. Rebound, Patterson. Shot missed. She'll go to the line for two shots. Her first is up and no good. Her second. It's up and good. Ross to Carter. Ross, I'm sorry, Luton for three. Good. Ten point game here at Peabody High School. Girls looking, Peabody girls that is, looking to stay undefeated. Referee might give her a tech here. He will not. It'll just be a charge. Lady Tide turnover. Reason I said tech was because she was arguing with the ref. But he was nice, decided not to give her one. Brooks on the inside gets fouled into the free throw line. Her first is up and good. Works had a big game tonight. Hit some key free throws. Her second, good as well. I don't know what's happening here. Wade Tyler looking to play some sick Devo. Ball deflected by Luton. Luton becoming quite the defender for the Lady Tide, especially tonight. Luton goes up, layup no good. Rebound number 40, puts it back up. No good. Cliff gives to Luton.
Luton out to Ross. Ross to Luton. Luton to Cliff. Cliff inside the Cliff. Brooks from mid range. No good. Rebound, Lady Vikings. Humboldt looking to get anything going here. Trying to put a dent in this lead at least. On the inside, shoots mid-range good. She's down and not getting up. She's good though, gets up on her own willpower. It's how to stay in the game as Carter comes in for Cliff. We have a timeout here, so I'll go ahead and finish up my Rose Parade stuff. Uh, so, we get in the shoot. Nick Hannon's on the float in front of us. You do two miles or a mile and a half, and then you turn TV corner. You could hear Rocky Top playing, and then, from what I know, ABC turns <laughs> to commercials. However, I can tell you firsthand what happened. We turn a corner, everybody goes wild. When I said Banfest was the loudest pop I'd ever heard, this is almost to it. You were supported by at least what felt like a half million people on a street. You had grandstands packed left and right. When I have time, I'll talk about it some more. But for right now, it's back to business as the Lady Tide are leading by 10. Looking to hold on to that lead. Carter to Cliff, tries to get it to her. Ball through the hands of Carter. Timeout, Coach Michael Hart. Well, I'll just take this one and say, uh, finish up my Rose Parade story. So, after that, he marched about uh, about six miles, five and a half. So we, we, we didn't march all the full time, but nonetheless, you were marching for about 10, 15 minutes straight, and then, uh, then you would take a break for about 45 seconds, stretch a little bit. Those stretches came in key, came in really clutch. When you're hauling a bass drum through a six-mile parade, that is not fun. But we got through it, uh, through the first about three and a half miles, took our first break. I laid my drum down. The crowd went wild. I mean, it, <laughs> the support from people you don't even know, it, it was nice. We had Ohio State fans, Utah fans. It was nice. I've never experienced anything like it. S. Carter with the ball. <coughs> Excuse me. Shot no good. Rebound Humble. Number three going to drive in. Brooks. Oh. I thought, I thought that was all ball right there. Must have not been. The TSSAA meeting held uh, a lot new, a lot of more uh, rules, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. One of them being uh, you had to have a Thursday night game sometime this year. Peabody has had one against Milan uh, for the past four or five years. I can, I can, from what I can remember, but. The tweet that I saw said, as Brooks seeks to rebound, that the TWSWA will assign a game. And schools can appeal it if needed. As Ross gives it to Skinner. It was said it happened it, they had to do it because of lack of officials. Well, 
They have a lack of smart officials, I will say that. Ross at the line for the Lady Tide. Her first is up and no good. Awaiting her second. Her second is up and no good as well. Rebound Carter. Carter finds Ross. Ross going to drive back in. Overshot. Last touch by Ross. Cliff subbing in for Skinner. Those, oh, my bad. I thought they were fixing to give the ball to Lady Todd. Patterson with the ball, though. Patterson was a little bit shaken up. She wasn't moving for a couple of seconds at one point. But she looks like she is nothing but new. As Luton goes for the end one. The lead growing here for the Lady Tide. Her free throw is good. 40-28 to score here at Peabody. Timeout Humboldt. So, while we have a break in the action, continue on my Rose Parade story. Uh, so after that, it felt like you were marching forever and ever. And then words that my grandfather, Tony Burris, said was when you turn a left, you know that you've made it. And we didn't turn that left for what felt like a century. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, after that turn, we made it. We, you had marched six miles, and it was, it, it was rewarding, to say the least. But I have people ask me if I would do it again, and I said, not for free. It, it, was, it was rewarding, but, man, it was exhausting. So after that, we uh, went to uh, in and out Great meal there. I'll tell you all more later. Those are the cheerleaders you just saw. They have been cheering for the past two or three months now. Have cheer practices every Wednesday. Some seniors, Jewel Bakins, Ariana Hall, Jada Wilkins, Kaylin Gant, Haley Cross, McKinley Dean. I think that's it. Pass on by Jemiah Carter. Carter gives the Luton. Brooks with the ball to, to Luton. Cliff. Brooks is wide open in the paint. Tied. Just chewing the clock here. Minute 14 left. Brooks to Carter. Carter to Cliff. Carter on the outside. Ty just going to get the ball around. Waste more clock. Forty twenty eight will most likely be the final score. That'll be a foul. Send Brooks to the line. Looks like the Lady Ty will escape with the win tonight. By the skin of their teeth. They had to endure a storm from the Vikings earlier. 
that was no more. Brooks first is up at no good. Her second is up and good. We have a timeout. So I'll finish up the Rose Parade story. Hopefully this time we in and out. In and out was pretty mid. I'll, I'll be honest with you. It was, it was all right. It was all right. I had two burgers from there. Uh, but after that, we loaded up on a bus. I slept on the way back to the hotel. So uh, I didn't really, I'll be honest with you, I don't really remember much from the bus ride back besides being exhausted. Uh, wake up. I'm at the hotel. I'll put myself in a storage room. I go up to my hotel room, and I sleep until about, 6, 6.30 when we had to start getting ready for our farewell dinner. It was in a nice restaurant. People danced once again, but this time was the last time. Uh, one thing I will say, you never truly understand what's going on in the program unless you're an administrative uh, person. Not one person knew what was going to happen besides the administrative people. I would like to take this moment to thank uh, the Humboldt, Peabody, Milan, uh, Gibson County, and South Gibson County band directors uh, for their assistance. But none of this would have been possible without the one and only Mr. Jeremy Tate. As number three, puts up a three, no good, rebound Brooks. Mr. Tate had, has been, had, had been working on it for a long amount of time, for about two or three years. We were supposed to go uh, when Corona strikes first. <coughs> Excuse me. As Ross will just dribble it out here. All right, at the end of this ball game, 41-28, final score. Lady Tide win. Whole lot of Carter and uh, Luton and Brooks, surprisingly. And then for Humboldt, Patterson was probably the leading scorer. Uh, here in just a few minutes, we'll have senior night stuff happen. So, uh, as I was saying, uh, we went back to the hotel after our dinner, uh, and we slept, and then the next day we got up, we traveled back to Tennessee. It was about a Three and a half hour flight. I watched Joker. That movie's great. I tend to recommend. Uh, but I watched Joker and I listened to some, to some music on the way back. I kind of had a chance to reflect on how it had been. Uh, and as I was saying earlier, none of this would have been possible without the administrative people in charge. Uh, thank you to PAC. Uh, they were performance art, performance arts consultants. They pretty much orchestrated the whole trip. You have seniors lined up in front of you from cheerleaders to basketball players. Um, so thank you to all who made my trip to California happen. Going to California is something that everybody in this world, I'm sure, dreams of. And I got to go at 17. Thank you all very much. We have senior night festivities coming right at you.
Next is McKinley Dean. McKinley is a cheerleader and she is the daughter of Megan Alford and Chris Alford and Jason Dean. All right. That wraps it up for the senior night festivities. So, with all that being said, we will have the boys run out from both teams. The Marcus Key, Sean Williams, Jason Hunt, the uh, key men tonight for the uh, – Golden Tide, Malik Ganaway as well. I wouldn't doubt if Sean Williams start or Sean Williams starts tonight. Obviously, he's not five foot seven, but on the court he looks pretty small. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, right? But when you're right up next to him, he's about my height, which is I, I'm like six six one six two. Jason Hunt is six three guard running for Mr. Basketball this year, along with his friend, DeMarcus Key. See, so he's gonna run out first. Humboldt runs out first, led by Kyle and Keaton Wade. I'm sorry, Kyle and Keaton Johnson. It's 
Tyrone Brown leads the Golden Tide out of the locker room. A few pregame notes here. Humboldt led by, as I said earlier, Colin and Keaton Johnson. Their big is Stefan Shivers. He is a freshman. So is Tobias Bell. He is also a freshman. The Golden Tide team, the Golden Tide team is led by senior Jason Hunt, senior Demarcus Key, junior Derek Key, senior Malik Ganaway, and Sean Williams. So with that being said, we'll be right back after this. Utility Solutions Underground, located in Trenton, takes care of all kinds of projects such as trenching, digging, boring of one inch or smaller bores, and storm or lot cleanup. Owner and operator Tommy Castleman has been serving the Gibson County area for 40 years and has the experience and know-how to get the job done right the first time. Utility Solutions is fully licensed and insured, so give them a call today at 731-420-0593 for a free estimate. No job too big or too small. Utility Solutions Underground, let us dig for you. Roll Tide. With extra pandemic unemployment funding coming to an end in Tennessee, you should not hesitate to find a job that pays what you need and treats you well. Because those jobs are going to go as quickly as gasoline in a shortage. Apply today at McLean Power Systems in Trenton. Make your next career move to McLean today by texting POWER to 67664. That's POWER to 67664. McLean Power Systems is an equal opportunity employer. Trenton Light and Water Department provides electric, water, and wastewater services for customers inside the city limits of Trenton, Tennessee. We support all Trenton Special School District endeavors, academic, athletic teams, band, and extracurricular clubs and activities at Trenton Elementary School, Trenton Rosenwald Middle School, and Peabody High School. Our office is temporarily located in downtown Trenton at 110 South College Street in the Steel Building, while a new office and warehouse building is being constructed at our Armory Street location. Please contact our office or visit our website, www.trentonlw.com, for payment options, online, bank draft, ACH, by phone, and our new phone app, Roll Tide and Lady Tide from Trenton Light and Water. We are honored to serve all the citizens of Trenton. J&B Motors, 447 South Main in Dyer, Tennessee, will buy, sell, or trade, and even finance in-house. At J&B Motors, you can even enjoy a lifetime warranty. J&B is a complete dealer with a mechanic shop and a detail shop. Just travel to Dyer, 447 South Main, or visit the website at jnbmotorsllc.com. J&B Motors doesn't care about your credit. They care about you, their customers. J&B Motors, 447 South Main, Dyer. State Farm Agent Amy Greer, 308 South College Street in Trenton, is where the customer's needs always come first. When life storms hit your home or your family, you're able to rest easy when you deal with a 30-year professional, Amy Greer, at State Farm in Trenton. Your North Gibson local agency serving Trenton, Dyer, Rutherford, Bradford, Kenton, and Yorkville. See Amy or Scarlett Davis-Smith or Courtney Tyree Williams. Amy Greer, State Farm, Trenton. Anderson Furniture and Floor Covering would like to thank the people of Gibson County for allowing them to serve you for 70 years. During football season, there's never a better place to be than sitting in your recliner watching the game. Come visit Anderson Furniture and Floor Covering, 110 High Street in Trenton, and check out the large collection of furniture and floor coverings. Good luck and roll tide!
Bell Shirt and Sign Company has been family owned and operated since 1969 in Trenton. Located next to Peabody High School, we provide high quality, timely and professional service to local schools, communities, churches and businesses. All graphic design, printing, sewing and engraving is done in-house, so we control the quality and service ourselves. With access to the brands you want, we carry a large selection of Peabody shirts, caps, polos and other items to show off your school spirit. If you are needing screen printing, embroidery, signs or engraving done, stop by and see us today and as always, Roll Tide! Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. At Hardy, Martin & Owens, we handle personal injury, divorce and family law, criminal defense, and wills and estates. We are experienced in all courts in West Tennessee. With three locations, Trenton, Milan, and Jackson, we are conveniently located to handle all your legal needs. Not many lawyers will give you their personal cell phone number, but Bradley Owens will. Bradley's cell number is 731-234-2400. Call Bradley today. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. Raspberry Towing, 855-0099. One call and you're hooked. Raspberries has served the Gibson County area and surrounding counties for 39 years. Kyle Raspberry is the youngest officer appointed to the Tennessee Towing Association. Kyle is certified in light, medium, and heavy duty wrecker recovery with the American Towing and Recovery Institute. So call Raspberry Towing at 855-0099. One call and you're hooked. We are back here at PHS where the boys are getting ready for their matchup against the Humboldt Vikings. I hope to have a competitive game or at least as competitive as the girls game was. Jason Hunt looking to show out tonight, playing for his former uh, team, or playing against his former team, I should say. Derek Key, topic of the night, Derek Key is five points away Five points away from hitting his 1,000-point mark. Let's hope he hits it tonight as he just – oh, he missed that fourth shot. Never mind. Here in about 30 seconds, we will have your starting lineups. So, I cannot wait until this game starts. Should be a good one, folks. As I remember last time when they played at Humboldt, the boys about near destroyed Humboldt in the first half. Uh, it was about 60-something to 20-something during halftime. So, here we are, getting ready for the starting lineups. Jason Hunt has scored over a thousand this year. Demarcus Key got awarded with his earlier this year. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Peabody High School for tonight. We will have the Humboldt Vikings running out first. And our 
only info comes in on tonight's starting lineups. First, for the visitors, the Humboldt Vikings. Number two, Keaton Johnson. Number 15, Kylan Johnson. Number 25, Keaton Johnson. Number 50, Tobias Bell. And number 52, Stephon Schimmer. Kyle and Keaton Wade, the leading scorers for how about this season? Marcus Butler, Steve Schimmer. The head coach is Brad Abernethy. Brad Abernethy, the head coach of Humboldt High School. And now uh, let's get the starting lineup for the Peabody Golden Dawn. Number four, Derrick Kane. I'm going to stand up for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, good sportsmanship is for the primary purposes at all high school athletic programs. Our athletes recognize that judgment calls. This one should be a good one. In good faith, the fact must abide by the decisions of the officials. Spectators can support their program by refraining from the run and the heart. We hope that you will enjoy the game and support your athletes in a positive and sportsmanlike manner. Here we are at Peabody High School. Derek Key set to tip off against the one and only St Stephon Shivers. Derek Key wins it. Jason out with the ball. Gives it to Malik Ganaway. Should be a good one, folks. Derek Key. Easy two. Easy two. He's now three points away from getting his 1,000 points. Ball plucked away by DeMarcus Key. They'll say last touch by DeMarcus Key. Sean gives it to DeMarcus Key. DeMarcus Key going to go up. Lay in. Nice little spicy lay in. Number 52, Stephon Shivers with the easy lay in for the Vikings. Derek Key from two. No good. Rebound Malik Ganaway. Ganaway gives it to Key. The Marcus Key, that is. Oh, no. No good. Rebound. Bell. Bell looking for somebody. Finds Wade. I'm sorry, Johnson. My bad, Johnson. Number 52 shot is long. Off the mark. Gives it to Jason Knight. Jason Knight for three. Woo! Too easy for a guy like Jason Hunt, averaging 35 points a game. Johnson lays it in. 
Gan away. Gives it to Key. Key for three. No good. Rebound, Bell. Pass tip by Key. Shot missed by Johnson. Rebound, Shivers. Shivers goes back up. Can't lay it in. Last touch by Hunt. Pass stolen by Key. Gives it to his brother DeMarcus. DeMarcus going to give it to Sean. Sean going to pop a three. No good. Rebound, DeMarcus. I'm sorry, Malik Ganaway. Malik Ganaway looking to run the offense here. Derek Key over Shivers. No good. Rebound, Malik Ganaway. Malik Ganaway. Will be held. DeMarcus Key to throw it in. Derek with the easy. Oh, he almost had it. Johnson with the ball. Defended by Key. I'm sorry, Ganaway. Shivers, guarded by Derek Key. Derek Key with the rebound. Demarcus Key on the drive in. They'll say it'll be last touch by Jason Hunt as Demarcus Key misses his shot. Both teams off to a pretty slow start here. Derek Key on the defense. Gets to brother D-Mark, who will be fouled. Williams to throw it in. Ganaway, the most likely recipient. Ganaway gets it past half court. Gets it to Hunt. Hunt, mid-range, good. Nice little screen set there by Derek Key. Derek Key, DeMarcus Key's brother, part of the Key to Key connection that you'll see here tonight. Oh, Malik Ganaway steals it. Oh, woo, woo. spicy. Wonder what the call was. The referee blew a whistle. Not too sure. As Tyron Brown comes in for Sean Williams. Johnson in the backcourt. Number 25 for three, good. Blake Ganaway defended by number 25. Blake Ganaway will be fouled. Jason Hunt to throw it in. Humboldt with three fouls already. Demarcus Key on the inside, gets fouled, will be sent to the free throw line. How about fans disagreeing with that call? First is up and good.
his second is good as well. Tyron Brown defending against Johnson. Johnson with 25. Stolen by Jason Hunt. Jason Hunt going to use his speed. Jason Hunt for three. Short. Ball stolen. Jason Hunt going to go back up, though. Lays it in. Oh, Jason Hunt knocks Johnson over. Jason Hunt feels like he has something to prove here tonight. Johnson driving in, gives it number 35. Number 35 shot is good. Malik Gann away with the ball. Pass it to Brown. Brown going to drive in. Shot misses. Rebound Johnson. Johnson gets the ball stolen from him. Let's say last touch by the Tide. Humboldt tries to go up and score. It'll be a travel. We'll call that a travel. Okay. Number 25 goes up for easy lay-in. Time to get together here. Humboldt's not going to go away. Ganaway drives in, shoots, plays it in. Nice and easy. He's taking it easy. As Lionel Richie would say. Brown defending against Johnson. Shot waved off. Foul on Brown. Shivers comes in along with Kendrick Taylor Jr. Long pass to Johnson. Mid-range misses. Rebound, Shivers puts it Tries to put it back up and in, misses. Game away with the ball. Going to drive in. That'll be a block. I don't know if they'll count the basket or not. I do not think so. Isaac DeHaan getting ready to sub in. They will count the basket. 19 to 11 score here at Peabody High School. I'm sorry, 20 to 11. With one minute and three seconds remaining in the first. Humboldt for three, no good. Rebound number 33. His slave is up and in. Johnson defending against Key. Gets it to Johnson. I'm sorry, Brown. Inside the key. Key for two, no good. Key for three. No good. Brown tried to get the rebound. He got it, but not before getting a foul.
Johnson guarded by Key. 12, 11, 10. Johnson going to drive in. Gives it to Shivers. Shivers layup misses. Gives it to Derek Key. Derek Key going to mid-range it. No good. At the end of one, 2013. Todd, we'll be right back after this. Believe it or not, insurance has become one of the largest parts of most family budgets. How many times have you thought to yourself, man, that seems expensive? At Siler Thornton Agency, we represent several different insurance companies, so we have the flexibility to shop your coverages and find the best value. Siler Thornton Agency has been taking care of insurance needs in Gibson County for over 20 years. We are proud to be a Trenton business, and we love to support the Peabody Golden Tide. Call us today or stop by for a free quote. Siler Thornton Agency, our business is you. And we are back here at Peabody High School. Coach Wes Miller giving a sermonette to his squad. Derek Key, three points away from his 1,000 point mark. Johnson with the ball. Humboldt starts off with the ball in the second quarter. Ball stolen by Keith. Gives it to DeMarc. DeMarc going to go up. I can't believe what I just saw. I cannot believe what I just saw. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? I can't believe what I just saw. I'm going home. I'm, we gonna pack it up, boys. We we packing it up. One point until Derek hits a thousand. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Ah. Tyrone Brown with the ball. That was spicy. I'm not gonna get over that. That is top ten plays of all time. Jason Knight with a long three. Oh, 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 spicy. That was something. Tied building momentum. Trying to build this lead. Number one from Humboldt with, for three. Good. I still can't believe that happened. Can we get a Solar Thornton instant replay on that? <laughs> Derek. Size not take a shot, gives it to brother DeMarc. No good, rebound, shivers. Number one for three again. Shot sent back to Narnia by Derek Key. Are those, are those keys? Are those keys I hear? Marcus. I'm sorry, that's Tyrone Brown. Getting off of Johnson. Johnson on the outside. Pass on by DeMarcus Key. He's going to give it to Malik. Malik going to give it back to DeMarc. DeMarc goes up, gets the and one. And one. Is that Key? Is that, is that Key I hear marching in? His shot is good. Shivers on the inside, defending by Key. Gets it up and over Key. 
Willie Ganaway got to drive in. Misses his layup. Rebound Shivers. Shivers gives it to Johnson. Johnson to Johnson. Number one on the outside. Johnson goes up, misses. Rebound by Jason Hunt. Jason Hunt gives it to Malik Ganaway. Ganaway sees D Mark in the corner. No good. Short. Rebound. Malik Ganaway gets it to Sean Williams. Sean Williams will be sent to the line. His first is off. His second one misses as well. Johnson with the ball. Gets past Key. Johnson now defended by Williams. Number one. Try, th thought about shooting from the corner, does not. Gets it over to Johnson. Ball in possession of Johnson. Back to his brother. Johnson drives in. Gives it Shivers. Shivers. Shot is blocked by Derek Key. Jason misses his layup. Lost possession of the ball there for a second, but gets it back. Johnson drives in on Williams. Johnson makes his layup. A more tightly contested game here in the first half than it was last time. Derek Key for three. No good rebound Malik Ganaway. Malik Ganaway puts it up and in for two. Johnson in the backcourt gets past half court. Johnson for three. No good rebound Malik Ganaway. Malik Ganaway going to take it up. Into Jason Hunt. Jason Hunt scores two. Jason slips. Ball retained by Malik Ganaway. Ultimately, ball winds up in hands of Johnson from Humboldt. Malik Ganaway fouls. Malik Ganaway, I think that was a smart foul right there, personally. Humboldt for three, no good. Rebound, Shivers. Humboldt defending. Ganaway driving in. Loose possession of the ball. It'll be Humboldt ball. Shivers with the ball. Mid range. Shoots. No good. Rebound Ganaway. Ganaway. Gives it to Hunt, or tries to. Pass goes out of bounds. Malik Ganaway comes out of the game as Kamari Bonds comes in.
Johnson. Gives it to his brother. Trying to get this Humboldt offense going. Shivers gives it up. Oh, Johnson in the corner. No good. Rebound Derek Key. Derek Key will be fouled. Sent to the line. With this shot, he can get 1,000 points. 1,000 career points for this young feller. But nothing is said until uh, he makes it. This first is up and good. That's 1,000 points, ladies and gentlemen. 1,000 career points for Derek Key. His second is off. Johnson. In the paint of Sunbolt. Gets it over Derek Key. DeMarcus Hewitt on the drive in. Gets fouled. His first. No good, short. The second, however, is good. Johnson will be called for the travel. Malik Ganaway looking to sub back in for the Todd. Bonds comes out for Ganaway. Ball tipped by Hummel defender. It'll be Golden Tide ball. Jason up for three. No good. Rebound. Malik Ganaway. Puts it back up and in. 58.4 seconds left here in the second quarter of action. Derek Key has had 1,000 points in his career, folks. If that's not something to be proud of, I don't know what is. Jason up with the rebound. Finds DeMarcus. DeMarc going to go up. Get fouled. He'll be sent to the line. This is his second. Rebound there, Key. There, Key. Misses. Rebound, Johnson. Johnson gets a pass half court for the Vikings. Tyrone so Brown tried to block the shot, just failed though. Missed it by a couple inches.
Johnson for her half court shot, no good. At the end of two quarters. At the end of two quarters, 37-27. We'll be right back after this. Utility Solutions Underground, located in Trenton, takes care of all kinds of projects, such as trenching, digging, boring of one inch or smaller bores, and storm or lot cleanup. Owner and operator Tommy Castleman has been serving the Gibson County area for 40 years and has the experience and know-how to get the job done right the first time. Utility Solutions is fully licensed and insured, so give them a call today at 731-420-0593 for a free estimate. No job too big or too small. Utility Solutions Underground, let us dig for you. Roll Tide. With extra pandemic unemployment funding coming to an end in Tennessee, you should not hesitate to find a job that pays what you need and treats you well. Because those jobs are going to go as quickly as gasoline in a shortage. Apply today at McLean Power Systems in Trenton. Make your next career move to McLean today by texting POWER to 67664. That's POWER to 67664. McLean Power Systems is an equal opportunity employer. Trenton Light and Water Department provides electric, water, and wastewater services for customers inside the city limits of Trenton, Tennessee. We support all Trenton Special School District endeavors, academic, athletic teams, band, and extracurricular clubs and activities at Trenton Elementary School, Trenton Rosenwald Middle School, and Peabody High School. Our office is temporarily located in downtown Trenton at 110 South College Street in the Steel Building, while a new office and warehouse building is being constructed at our Armory Street location. Please contact our office or visit our website, www.trentonlw.com, for payment options, online, bank draft, ACH, by phone, and our new phone app, Roll Tide and Lady Tide from Trenton Light and Water. We are honored to serve all the citizens of Trenton. J&B 447 South Main in Dyer, Tennessee will buy, sell, or trade, and even finance in-house. At J&B Motors, you can even enjoy a lifetime warranty. J&B is a complete dealer with a mechanic shop and a detail shop. Just travel to Dyer, 447 South Main, or visit the website at jnbmotorsllc.com. J&B Motors doesn't care about your credit. They care about you, their customers. J&B Motors, 447 South Main, Dyer. State Farm Agent Amy Greer, 308 South College Street in Trenton, is where the customer's needs always come first. When life storms hit your home or your family, you're able to rest easy when you deal with a 30-year professional, Amy Greer, at State Farm in Trenton. Your North Gibson local agency serving Trenton, Dyer, Rutherford, Bradford, Kenton, and Yorkville. See Amy or Scarlett Davis Smith or Courtney Tyree Williams. Amy Greer, State Farm, Trenton. Anderson Furniture and Floor Covering would like to thank the people of Gibson County for allowing them to serve you for 70 years. During football season, there's never a better place to be than sitting in your recliner watching the game. Come visit Anderson Furniture and Floor Covering, 110 High Street in Trenton, and check out the large collection of furniture and floor coverings. Good luck and roll tide! And we are back here at Peabody High School. A uh, few notes for uh, Humboldt. They are led in scoring by Colin and Keaton uh, Johnson. Colin, a senior, with his brother Keaton. They are both seniors. Um, looking to get a lot of experience from them with the loss of Jason Hunt, who I consider, who I consider to be their best player. But uh, luckily, he's with Peabody now. Right before that break, Jason Hunt almost put somebody on a poster. That would have been, uh, that would have been, I don't know. I probably would have went home after that. I'll be honest with y'all. Oh. Uh, Derek Key officially has 1,000 career points. It's official. 
Uh, I've been keeping up with him, uh, with him playing ball for the past two or three years, and he's a he's a once in a generation talent. talent. <coughs> Excuse me. He's something special. With the amount of attention that Peabody is getting from football, I hope that their basketball program will only continue to grow. Derek's brother is uh, Demarcus Key, who uh, isn't leading the team in scoring right now. Uh, Jason Hunt is, however. Jason Hunt averaging 35 to 37 points per game. He's a 6'3 guard. So we will be right back with you after these messages. Bell Shirt and Sign Company has been family owned and operated since 1969 in Trenton. Located next to Peabody High School, we provide high quality, timely and professional service to local schools, communities, churches and businesses. All graphic design, printing, sewing and engraving is done in-house, so we control the quality and service ourselves. With access to the brands you want, we carry a large selection of Peabody shirts, caps, polos and other items to show off your school spirit. If you are needing screen printing, embroidery, signs or engraving done, stop by and see us today and as always, Roll Tide! Do you want your smile to say it all? At Elite Dental Care, we'll make you and your family feel comfortable and secure with a variety of services and state-of-the-art care. We offer sedation dentistry that will make your time in the dental chair comfortable and relaxed. Come by and see our newly renovated and expanded office in Jackson or one of our other convenient locations in Trenton or Dyersburg. Trust your smile with Elite Dental Care and let your smile say it all. At Hardy, Martin & Owens, we handle personal injury, divorce and family law, criminal defense, and wills and estates. We are experienced in all courts in West Tennessee. With three locations, Trenton, Milan, and Jackson, we are conveniently located to handle all your legal needs. Not many lawyers will give you their personal cell phone number, but Bradley Owens will. Bradley's cell number is 731-234-2400. Call Bradley today. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. Raspberry Towing, 855-0099. One call and you're hooked. Raspberries has served the Gibson County area and surrounding counties for 39 years. Kyle Raspberry is the youngest officer appointed to the Tennessee Towing Association. Kyle is certified in light, medium, and heavy duty wrecker recovery with the American Towing and Recovery Institute. So call Raspberry Towing at 855-0099. One call and you're hooked. Believe it or not, insurance has become one of the largest parts of most family budgets. How many times have you thought to yourself, man, that seems expensive? At Siler Thornton Agency, we represent several different insurance companies, so we have the flexibility to shop your coverages and find the best value. Siler Thornton Agency has been taking care of insurance needs in Gibson County for over 20 years. We are proud to be a Trenton business and we love to support the Peabody Golden Tide. Call us today or stop by for a free quote. Siler Thornton Agency, our business is you. We are back here at Peabody High School where the Vikings are taking on the Peabody Golden Tide. It's amazing the amount of people that showed up at this game. I'll be honest with you. I hadn't seen this uh, packed up a gym since uh, the, well, since the Gibson County game, I guess, last year. Um, the girls uh, took on Gibson County last year and lost. However, the boys took on in Gibson County. Had to lead at halftime by about 15. Gibson County came back and uh, 
They then the tie out here in Deer Storm. But the tide won. They pulled it out. <clears throat> Anyone know who hit the game ceiling three? Derek Key. So, uh, good stuff there. Jason Hunt, uh, Demarcus Key, Derek Key, Sean Williams, and Malik Ganaway will be the starting five coming out of halftime. Johnson, Johnson, Shil Shivers, Bell, and I do not have a number 25 on my roster, uh, but he will be starting for Humboldt. It will be tied possession. DeMarcus Key with the ball. Rebound, Bell. Johnson, guarded by Ganaway. This is a Johnson. Jason Hunt with the easy steal and easy lay in. Johnson going to drive in. Will be fouled by Derek Key sent to the line. His second, I'm sorry, his first is up and no good. His second. Up and no good as well. Rebound Derek Key, gets it to Malik Ganaway. Malik Ganaway, going to pass it to Derek Key. Derek Key for three. No good, rebound. Well, it will be out of bounds on uh, the Vikings as Malik Ganaway smartly threw back in at a Humboldt defender. Derek Key puts up a mid-range, no good. Rebound, Sean Williams. Johnson with the ball. Johnson gets it past half court. Johnson for three, good. Nine point game here. Time need to get rolling and rolling fast. Key will be sent to the to the free throw line. No, I'm sorry, that'll be a throw in. My bad. Malik Ganaway dribbling it up. Key gets it to Derek Key. Key fades, shoots, no good. Rebound, Sean Williams. Jason Hunt gonna drive in. Shoots a two, makes it. This kid can make shots. I don't understand how he does it. Whole lot of practice, I'm assuming. As Sean Williams steals the ball. Going to give it to DeMarcus Key. DeMarcus Key going to go up. And one. Back to a 11-point lead. I'm sorry, 43. Rebound Derek Key. Gives it to Malik Ganaway. No good. Rebound, Bell. Bell to Johnson. Johnson guarded by Williams. Shot waved off. He'll shoot two from the line. Johnson. 
Johnson to Johnson. Johnson's three is good. Only getting away to DeMarcus Key. DeMarcus Key. Woo! It's good. Oh no, oh no, not again. Don't do it to him. <laughs> that was nice. Oh, that's always nice when you get Jason Hunt dunk. Colin Johnson drives in, scores. I'm sorry, Keaton Johnson. Derek Key to DeMarcus. DeMarcus over Johnson. No good. Rebound Johnson. Johnson to Keaton Johnson. His three is long. Rebound Humboldt. Shots in back to Narnia by Derek Key. Johnson for three. No good. Rebound Sean Williams. Jason Hunt, this pass is man, he'll be fouled by Kylan Johnson. McCurry comes in. Derek Key going to drive in. Woo! Spicy. Tide's starting to run away with it a little bit. This is good. We love that here at Peabody. Tyrone Brown. Shot is off. It'll be jump ball. Viking. It'll be Viking possession. Shot blocked by Derek Key. Ah, McCurry gets the rebound. Number one. Puts up a floater. It's a floater. The Marcus Key with the ball. Gives it to Key. Key out to, to Derek Key. Derek Key tries to get some lead gain away. No good. Whoop. You know, it's whatever. I said no good. He made it. I'm proud of him. McCurry. Inside the number 33 from Humboldt. Scores. Their key going up. I cannot believe what I just witnessed. A thousand points in grand fashion, folks. A thousand points. They're gonna give him a technical. Are you? <laughs> I don't care. We don't care about that. We don't care about that. They're gonna give him a tech. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure why, you know. Mary, mother of Jesus. I cannot believe what I just witnessed. Great stuff, nonetheless.
Misses his first. That is indeed a thousand. He makes his second. Don't know what the holdup is here. Johnson with the ball, though. Shivers inside for two. There, Key. On the inside, shoots a fadeaway, will be fouled. DeMarcus, inside to Jason Hunt. Jason Hunt gives it to Malik Ganaway, easy to. Jason Hunt has officially hit 1,000. I'm sorry, not Jason Hunt. Well, Jason Hunt too, but tonight, Derek Key. Jason Hunt hit 1,000 uh, three or four weeks ago. Got his game ball tonight as DeMarcus goes up for an easy two. Derek will be expecting his 1,000-point ball sometime this season. The Tide have won a game against Middleton tomorrow, Tuesday night and then one game against JCM on the 11th, I believe. Darkest for three, no good. Rebounded by Johnson. Derek Key does nothing, the shot misses. The ball travel out of bounds from McCurry. Gunaway finds Derek Key. Derek Key into Jason Hunt. Jason Hunt will be fouled, sent to the line. A whole lot of fouling going on in this contest. Second one is good. Tom Brown defending against number four. That ball trial out of bounds. It'll be Peabody ball. Jason Hunt. Gonna lob half court. No good. At the end of three, 59-42. We'll be right back after these messages. Utility Solutions Underground, located in Trenton, takes care of all kinds of projects, such as trenching, digging, boring of one inch or smaller bores, and storm or light cleanup. 
owner and operator Tommy Castleman has been serving the Gibson County area for 40 years and has the experience and know-how to get the job done right the first time. Utility Solutions is fully licensed and insured, so give them a call today at 731-420-0593 for a free estimate. No job too big or too small. Utility Solutions Underground, let us dig for you. Roll Tide. And we are back here at Peabody High School where the Tide are leading, 59-42. Their key has officially hit a thousand. Fourth quarter basketball action coming right at you. Tonight is Jersey night for the game. Tomorrow game, tomorrow's game against Middleton. Uh, I don't I have a theme for y'all, but nonetheless, show out, pop out tomorrow night. Girls six, boys to follow. It should be a good game. Milton led by R.J. Robinson. Jason Hunt lays it in. Assist by DeMarcus Key. Johnson will be fouled, sent to the line. No, I'm sorry, throw in. Ball in and out of the hands of Keaton Wade. Be a backcourt violation. Sean Williams with the ball, going to dribble it up. Sean Williams, also a Humboldt native, came to Peabody his sophomore year. He'll be fouled. Shot will count. That is Keaton Wade. Hot Tide Friday, this Friday for PHS students since we got iced out last Friday. Should be a good time there. DeMarc Ski going to drive and be fouled by Keaton Wade. I'm sorry, Keaton Johnson. DeMarcus Key going to go up. That's an easy two. <laughs> that was funny. Attaboy, Zero. I'm proud of you. DeMarcus Key. Oh, no. Ooh, ooh. Tyrone Brown. And Deshaun Williams. Deshaun Williams, mid range. Ooh. Spicy. In whimsical fashion, the tighter in the lead by 20. Nine, or 18, my bad. Oh, it was 20. Jason's not for a long three. No good rebound, Williams. Nope, Hunt. Gets the ball stolen away from him by Shivers. Shot almost blocked by Derek Key. Is not fully blocked, though. DeHaan going to sub in for Brown. I see a lot of different jerseys in a crowd tonight. Number 99 from the Rams. Aaron Donald's jersey is worn by the one and only Eli Gerard. I saw a Penny Hardaway jersey tonight. I myself am wearing a Jason Tatum jersey. Saw a Kevin Garnett jersey tonight. Derek Key mid-range. Too long. Mm -hmm. 
Johnson gives it up to number 35. The shot is up and good. Jason Hunt gives it to Sean Williams. Williams to Key. Key for three. No good. Rebound Humboldt. Johnson gives it up to his brother. Johnson for three, no good. Rebound Williams. Gives it to Hunt. Hunt will be fouled, sent to the line. His first off. Chase Jones has been pretty automatic for the line this year. Miss, makes his second, though. Full timeout from Coach Wes Miller. We'll be right back after this. With extra pandemic unemployment funding coming to an end in Tennessee, you should not hesitate to find a job that pays what you need and treats you well. Because those jobs are going to go as quickly as gasoline in a shortage. Apply today at McLean Power Systems in Trenton. Make your next career move to McLean today by texting POWER to 67664. That's POWER to 67664. McLean Power Systems is an equal opportunity employer. And we are back here at Peabody High School. Where the Todd are currently leading 66 to 51. 510 left to play in the fourth. Districts start next week or the week after, I believe. Humboldt on the outside. It'll be Todd Ball. Brown coming in for Williams. Brown gives it to Key. Key going to drive on Wade. Gives it to Dehan. Dehan going to go up. Two points for Dehan. How about on the outside? Shot almost blocked by Derek Key. That boy can get up. On and off the court. Played football this year. Plays wide receiver slash defensive back. Sloppy ball handling by Tyrone Brown. Pass is stolen. Johnson with a layup for two. Key, floater, money. Clock rolling here. 70 53 the score. 345 left. Ball stolen by Brown. Brown gonna try to do it a lay in. Does not. He'll be sent to the line. This is his first. His second. 
is up and no good as well. Rebound by Humboldt. Peabody Basketball would like to take a minute to thank Ross Pope and Dynamics Physical Therapy for being the physical trainers for this Peabody team, helping anyone and everyone who might be injured on the court. His first shot, up and no good. Bond summing in for Brown. His second, up and no good. Derek Key with the ball, gives it to Dion. Yes, our Dion. Pat, oh, what? What are we going to call that on? Foul on zero, Demarcus Key. His first is up and good. They'll have a redo on the free throw. His second is up and good. Marcus with the ball. Finds his brother Derek. Derek out to Jason Hunt for three. No good. Rebound Jason Hunt. Jason Hunt can go back in. Lay it in. Too easy. The call a foul. So this will be on. Kamari Bonds. His first, up and no good. Second, up and good. Marcus Key with the ball. Poked out, they'll say Viking ball. McCurry in the corner. At the number 25 on the wing. Great defense there by Dehan. Ball rebounded by Humboldt. Johnson on the outside. Shoots and fires and makes. Derek Key to Jason Nutt. Jason Nutt, too easy. Jason. 76-59, two minutes left to go in the game. Last touch. By Jason Lant, it'll be Viking ball. Dehan subbing out. McCurry on the outside. 
Humboldt trying to put a dent in his sleeve before the game ends. They call Derek Key for the foul. His first is up and no good. His second is up and good, however. Marcus Key gives it to Derek Key. Back to DeMarcus. Derek to Tyrone. Tyrone into Jason. Jason Hunt going to go up. No good. Gets his own rebound. No good. Rebound. Number 33 from Humboldt. Tyrone Brown with the stick D. Out of way to stay with the ball. Derek Key. Oh, no. Clear the lane. That's going to be another tech. Maybe, maybe, possibly. They cleared the lane fast. I don't blame them. I wouldn't want to be on a poster with their key either. <laughs> they got out of his way. I think they're just mad that he hit a 1,000. It'll be a technical on Derek Key. Peabody fans disagreeing with the call. His first up and good. His second, up and good as well. Big group substitution here for the Tide. Ace Meadows, Kamari Brooks, or Damari Brooks, my bad. Sid Hammonds, Zay Norman, and Kamari Bonds in the game for the Tide. And while well, we have a pause in the action, so I remind everybody, Peabody has a game tomorrow against Middleton. That will be broadcasted. And then on the 11th, they have a game at JCM. Not too sure why we have a pause in the action. Something about the score is table, I think. They got it settled now, though. It'll be Todd Ball. They'll say Vikings touch it last. Ball snagged by Kamari Bonds. Gives it to Ace Meadows. Ace going to go inside. No good. <laughs> Rebounded by Ace Meadows. Into Kamari Bonds. Kamari Bonds layup is no good. Viking ball. McCurry will go up. Lay it in. Ace gives it to Kamari. Kamari going to spot up. No good. They'll say Viking ball. No good rebound by Norman. Norman going to go to Bonds. Bonds going to shoot half court. Oh. At the end of the game, 78-64 final score of the Peabody Humboldt game. 
the boys' part. Girls won the game, but not before uh, and during a storm from the Helmut Vikings. In the boys' game, whole lot Jason Hunt, uh, Derek Key and Demarcus Key. Derek Key reached 1,000 tonight. Tomorrow will be first place game for the District 14A tournament next week. So, we will see y'all tomorrow. Stay safe until then. Signing off on main camera is Billy Bowen. Camera two, Miss Eris Hollingsworth, my director, Chris for Reasons, your boy Andrew Burst announcing. Broadcast produced by Paul Schultz. We'll see y'all later, hopefully tomorrow.